Hey everybody, I wanted to show you a quick little video on how to paint colors on your objects with your multicolor printer you got. I know this is a confusing thing. Um, I've been 3D printing multicolor for years with my bamboos. This is my first Flash Forge and I just wanted to show you a quick little how-to because I know it's confusing and causing a lot of problems out there. So we'll get to it. So click plus, we're gonna bring in our parts. So I've got uh, this door handle here that I wanna paint and then also the other door handle which is there, right? So here's my objects. And as you see, they're both black by default, which is slot one. And I've painted the colors here to match my spool. So spool one is black, two is red, then three, then four, right? Red, white, blue, four. And uh, make sure um, these match what's on your spools. Uh, because if these are out of order or don't match, then your printing will not look the way you want it to. Okay, so now two black objects, I wanna paint them. So I'm going to change the view just because it's a little easier to go to the top. And this view is really awesome because you can do top, bottom, side, left, right, whatever you want to do, right? So use these views and then come in and then I'm going to arrange these. Actually, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm just going to paint. So here's our painting tool, this little guy right here next to the text tool. So here's our painter. And you'll see when we click on it, the other object goes away because this is the one we were painting on, right? It says only the object being edited is visible. So you'll see if I hover, I get different shapes in here. The letter, the F, these little shapes. So I've got red selected. I'm gonna go to gap fill because that's what we wanna do is these uh, gaps. So I'm gonna go here, here, and here. So now you'll see I'm gonna get a black object but with some red on it. I could go the other way, and change this back to black. And now our red goes away. Uh, but I'm gonna leave it red like that and I could even make this part blue if I wanted. And then I could make this red. So now we get red and black, get some blue in there. And then I could also go to the circle tool and I could um, do this, right? Um, I could put some designs. You can uh, be creative here, right? And then you can be really creative. So anyway, I'm gonna release all painting and do this again. So I've got red selected. I'm going to go to fill because I want to fill the shape. So it's red with the black F and I'm going to fill these little triangles here and here. So now my object is going to be black with some red and the flash forge is going to be the little F is going to be black, right? So we're going to go back to our other object by clicking the little move button or M and we're going to do the same to it guy. So click on him, click on your paint, click on that and it's red. I could make it blue. I'm just going to do that and make it blue guys. It'll stick. There we go. So it's blue, but I want it red. So we're going to leave it red. We're going to go back to this little move guy. Now you'll see we've got our two objects we just painted. Pretty cool, right? Now then, I want to add support because if we look at our view, we will see that it's elevated and that's going to not print very well. And that's when you get weird things that happen. So we're going to add support. So I'm going to go enable support. Uh, I'm going to put it on tree auto. And then I want tree slim because I don't need much strength because this thing is almost hollow and then um, yeah I think that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys and uh, we're gonna say build plate only because I don't want to support up here it makes no sense and we will slice and now you'll see we have some support in here there's a little bit of red because it, it's painting red so there's gonna be some red support but who cares I also want to show you guys this. One more thing. What you could do is to reduce poop, right click your object. If it actually lets me do it, sorry guys. There we go. So we want to do, uh, sorry, flush. We want to flush into the infill. So it's going to use poop as infill, guys. So we're going to do the same thing here. So both of those will flush into the infill now, and then I'm gonna click on this arrange thing, and it will arrange it, your objects, in the best way for strength and the best way for speed, so it doesn't have to travel as much. So anyway, guys, we did support, we painted the colors. Hopefully you like this, and if it helped you, give the video a like. I'm happy to help anytime. This is cool stuff. These are cool printers, and as you see, they can do some cool stuff. Bye.